Hey guys, what is good everybody? My name is Jack. Welcome back to another film or an tutorial where you guys are going to learn how to do the pinch punch effect. Now, just a quick note before the tutorial starts. I want to thank every single one of you guys for 1,000 subscribers. I truly don't deserve it. Thank you guys so much again. And if you guys are new here, then welcome. I do for nice cinematic montages and for more tutorials. Anyways, hope you guys do enjoy. To start off, go to media, click here, and then select your clip. Alright, my clip starts around over here. So I press this button. I drag it here, match to MIDI. Alright, so go to the part where you want the pinch punch effect. So for me, I'm gonna have it like right about maybe here, I guess. Alright, so after you know where you want your uh, your effect to be, you wanna go to effects, included, filters, and distortion. Alright, over here. Go down to narrow and just trim it. Alright. So I'm just gonna have it like in between, I guess. Now I'm gonna render this just in case uh, something happens. What we wanna do is add keyframes. Now you may ask, Jack, how are you gonna add keyframes when it's not even in Filmora? Well, you are correct. It's not in Filmora, but there's a there's a way that like uh, manually you could add it. So what you guys wanna do is cut the effect. Uh, each frame but make sure you guys count it because uh, you're gonna need that uh, number at the end or how many frames you cut all right so once you guys are done uh, you want to make sure that you have a amount of frames that like the number is zero at the end so for example 10 20 30 40 50 whatever you guys want I recommend like 20 to 40 um, 20 and 40 are the best numbers now in order to add keyframes what we want to have is the beginning value is 0 the middle value is 100 the end value is 0 so what this does is it starts from 0 all the way to 100 then declines to 0 again so for me I have 20 frames cut and we are going to divide that by 2. The reason is half of it is going to be 10 and the other half 10. So if you take 100 divide that by 10, we get 10. 10 times 10 is 100. So that means if we add 10 uh, percentage to each of this until the middle, we would get 100. And if we subtract 10 from 100, we would get uh, 10, uh, 10 times we would get 10. Or 0, I mean. But we're gonna keep it at 10. So let's just start. This one is gonna start at 10 since 20 divided by 2 is 10. Now, the smaller the number is, for example, like if we get, um, let's see, 100 divided by 20, which is 5. So if you add 5, it's gonna be more accurate and better. Well, if you have 20, that means you have 40 frames, which is kinda long, but it's fine. I'm just gonna render this just in case. Alright, so once you got to the middle, uh, if you got 100, what you could do is have one frame 100, or you could have two frames being 100. It's up to you guys, but for me, I'm just gonna keep it one frame at 100. Now after that, make sure uh, you subtract by the number you have. So for me it's 10, so I'm going to subtract by 10 now. Alright, so now let's see what it looks like. Alright, dude, thank god bro, you guys don't know how many times I did this tutorial. And I think I found the solution. Each time, uh, like for the black screen thing glitch, each time you, you change it, you make sure to render it, okay? So, yeah. And if you're watching, so here, thank you. And like, why not like? Alright, so this is what it looks like. 
you could obviously add more but for me like i'm not trying to risk redoing this tutorial again and again uh, after you're done um uh, get your shakes i like up and down and mild those are probably the best ones for a kill effect just gonna have it here so as you guys see this is what it looks like so far Dude, that is oh my god! Thank God. Okay. Um. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if I should include them. All right. So once you guys did uh your shake settings and everything, <laughs> it should look like that. Now, uh, I have another keyframe. Uh, like I guess helpful tip. I guess. Uh, so what you want to do, for example, you know, like when you add like a color changer, I guess. Uh, there's like a bunch over here. If you guys want to choose them. But for now, I'm just going to go to media and sample colors. I'm going to pick the red one. Then just like apply it over here. Right. Just like that. You know, maybe uh, render it real quick. God, like that. And I should put a low. Alright, so once you guys have that, what you want to uh, go do is uh, double click it, composition. And put on screen you could choose whatever one you like but for me I'm just gonna choose screen for now now in order to put keyframe the easiest way ever go to transition uh, included or basic it doesn't matter dissolve and cut it like about below the middle and after a little bit of the middle. So. just like that now render it real quick and this is what it should look like. eating all the time. <laughs> oh. Obviously, if you don't like the red, I feel like it's a little bit too much, so I'm just gonna lower the opacity. Just like that. All the time. <laughs> oh. Now, if you do choose um, from the effects, you can't really apply transitions on it. Like, for example, watch. You just can't. So you could either choose your own colors and mess with the settings or uh, just choose from those. So that is going to be it for the tutorial. I don't want to stretch it long, you know. Well, if you guys could like just smash that like button. Don't break your phone or your monitor. But if you guys could smash that like button, subscribe and comment. That would be so amazing. Thank you so much for watching. And shout out to every single one of you guys that stayed to the end. Um, yeah guys, I love you. Like, just keep up the grind. Show me what you guys come up with. Peace.